guys, it's Imani, and today I have a brand new video for you guys. This is going to be my August bullet journal. Um, this is my second bullet journal I've ever done. If you want to see my bullet journal that I made for July, then I'll have that link down below for you guys. But I wanted to go with a very soft theme for this bullet journal. Um, so basically my entire bullet journal for this month will be gold and black. Um, I really like this theme because it was super calm. Um, it's also my birthday month. I turned 21 August 31st, so be excited for that. <laughs> but I just have August in the middle and then I have a little calendar at the bottom. Um, and then on the next page, I wrote out AUG for the first three letters of August um, and then a period at the end of that. And then I'm drawing out a full on calendar. Um, so I really like this. Um, I don't really use it, but I think it's really decorative. I really like the one that I did back in July. Um, so I wanted to do another one of these calendars again. But all I did was I drew out little squares or like the corner of this, the rectangles. And then I ended up writing the actual number within the rectangle. Um, and then I also have like a little side for notes. I don't know if I'll actually use those for notes or if I'll just keep that blank, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to like actually use my bullet journal a lot this month because I kind of slacked a little bit last month. Um, just because I'm new to the whole thing, I started out strong towards the beginning and then towards the middle of July, I kind of like, I kind of forgot about it. And then at the end, I was like, oh, okay, I have to pick up back on it. So hopefully I'll be more dedicated to it this time because I really do enjoy bullet journaling. I really like, I like drawing these doodles. I like being organized. So I'm going to try my best to be dedicated this month. Um, but I'm just writing this quote and it's, it says, to be soft is to be powerful. And this is from the book Milk and Honey um, by Rupi Carr. I love this book. It's just full of like little poems that she made. And this is probably like my favorite quote that I ever read from her book. So I just wanted to make a little page just dedicated to that quote alone. And then on this page, um, this is like my goals for the month. So I'm writing out goals at the top. And then at the bottom, I have my YouTube track so this is just gonna be tracking how many subscribers I'll have during uh, during certain days in the month so the three days I chose was August 1st August 16th and August 31st just to see um, how much my channel is growing within the month so I have that and then um, on the right side I write out um, videos that I want to post um, sorry you can't really see it because I got really into it so I forgot that I was recording so it kind of just like went over to the side a little bit but you'll see it again soon but it just says videos to post and these are some of the videos I want to post next month um, I, I just wrote out what, whatever I had from the top of my head and then on the next page I have my habits and mood tracker I really like this last month this was probably like my, my favorite part of the entire bullet journal um, I try my best to stay dedicated to it and it's interesting just to see like how often I'm doing certain things I actually want to keep up with um, but yeah and then on this page I just have my brain dump and this is just like random things that I'll have in mind that I want to write down or things I want to accomplish uh, things I want to do just random things like that uh, maybe I'll put like I'll tape like a movie theater ticket or something in there um, but yeah then on the next page, I have my college list because I'm going to be a senior in college this coming semester. So I just wanted to write out things I want to pack and things I want to buy. So I have two lists for that. Um, I, to be honest, I don't really like the lettering that much on this page. I kind of regret it. I kind of regret doing it, but um, I'll just keep that in mind for the next bullet journal because I obviously I can't erase it. <laughs> But, and then on this page, I have my expense tracker. This is something new. I didn't have this on my bullet journal from last month, um, but I thought it'd be really interesting because I really do have to start tracking um, my expenses because I'm trying to save up money. So I don't want to just like be going crazy and like buying like random things I don't need. So I have at the top right here, it says my starting and my ending. And that's uh, that's regarding my balance. So my starting balance, my ending balance. And then on the side, you can't really see it, but um, that just checks my income for the month and my savings. Um, also, these this little like list in the middle will um, list out the date, the description and the amount of whatever I spent money on. Um, so and then on the next page, I just have my first weekly like organizer kind of thing i don't know what to call it but um this is just for the first week of august so i included monday the 31st and then i have tuesday the first wednesday the second and so on and so forth i really like this page a lot 
Um, and then on the left side, I have good vibes. So something I really want to do is to track like something good that happened that week. And I want to write down every good thing that happened just so that I have a good focus for the week. But yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any ideas on what I should do for my next bullet journal, then let me know. Because again, I'm super new to this, so I'm so open to any ideas. A lot of my ideas come from Pinterest or even other YouTube videos and I just like put my own spin to it so I'm trying to get more creative with it. Um, I Hopefully I'll get better like in the future but this is my bullet journal for August. I love this so much. I, lo I love it a lot more than my July one to be honest. Again I'll link that down below but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked my bullet journal and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!